So you want to play the Ubers tier, the tier that allows the most powerful legendary Pokemon. Obviously, you want to use Arceus, one of the best legendaries of all time. But you only get one Arceus per team. So which type do you pick? All Arceus forms have identical stats, and all forms get the same moves, including Judgment, a strong move that depends on your type. Everything looks equal, yet some forms are amazing and some forms are terrible. Even more, some of the terrible forms are actually pretty surprising. Nobody is shocked that Arceus Bug is bad, but did you know that Arceus Steel is considered terrible in Generation 9? Did you know that Arceus Grass is actually usable? Did you know that Arceus Fighting used to be good but isn't anymore? What exactly makes an Arceus type good or bad? There are two main considerations that make a type good or bad. The first is the fundamentals of the type. The second is the metagame around it. I'd actually argue that the second one is the most important. Different types might be good in different generations where there's different surrounding Pokemon. This video is focused on Generation 9, but I will mention other generations if there's a drastic difference in viability between the generations or if there's something incredibly notable. Arceus as a Pokemon is distinct because it can do whatever it wants. Its type depends on the plate item that it holds. It can be a physical attacker or a special attacker or a defensive wall. It has Judgment, a strong special move for whatever type you are, Recover to heal, Will-O-Wisp to defend, and Calm Mind, Sword Dance, or Dragon Dance. You can go with whatever build you want, and any move you can think of, Arceus probably has it. Taunt, Foul Play, any attacking move like Thunderbolt or Flamethrower or Stone Edge, you get the idea. Well. Except Defog. The god of Pokemon lost that move in Generation 9. Actually, there's a couple moves Arceus doesn't have anymore, but in any case, the idea is to filter the best, most optimal ideas and use that Pokemon on your team. For example, Arceus Fairy is often better as a special attacker because Arceus doesn't get a good physical fairy type attack. Meanwhile, Arceus Ground can go either physical or special because Earthquake and Judgment are both great. The metagame around Arceus is important. In Gen 9, the top Pokemon besides Arceus are Coridon, Miraidon, Necrozma Duskmane, Ho-Oh, and Zacian. If you have a good matchup into these Pokemon, your type becomes great. Similarly, they could also make you terrible. Why would you use Arceus Electric when you could use Miraidon? It's best to understand Arceus through examples instead of talking about it in the abstract. So you can actually see what types are good in Generation 9. We can divide the different types into four broad categories like good, situational, niche, and straight up bad. By looking at each category, you'll get a good picture of why certain forms are better than others. In fact, you probably learn the most by understanding why certain types are bad. But let's start off with the good types, and we'll start off with the kingpin, Arceus Normal. Arceus Normal has dominated Ubers with its signature moveset called E-Killer. Normal is great because it makes you tough to take down because only fighting type moves hit you super effectively. Swords Dance plus Extreme Speed is a monster combo because it outspeeds every Pokemon and can knock them out with a stab boosted Extreme Speed. With moves like Shadow Claw to hit Ghost type Pokemon, Earthquake to hit Steel type Pokemon, and moves like Recover or Taunt, E-Killer is poised to sweep every single team. On top of all of that, Arceus can invest its EVs into HP instead of speed because its speed is derived from extreme speed. Arceus Normal is distinct because it's not a response to the meta, it is the meta. Every team has to be ready for E-Killer. Other forms don't have a stab E-Killer equivalent and that distinct capability makes Arceus Normal highly valuable. Other legendaries sometimes even use Terra Ghost purely to have an emergency way of stopping E-Killer. With foul play and only being weak to one type, defensive Arceus sometimes becomes an effective physical defender. But overall, that E-Killer moveset is a top metagame threat, and it makes Arceus Normal one of the best Arceus forms of all time. Arceus Fairy is excellent because it takes advantage of the naturally good fairy typing. Fairy is inherently good, but it's especially good in Ubers because legendary Pokemon tend to be Dragon-type Pokemon. On top of that, Fairy gives it a good matchup into Coridon, one of the top Pokemon. Arceus Fairy often gets used as a physical wall capable of repelling all the strongest Dragon-type attackers. It can either go for a Calm Mind Recover Sweep, or it can play with more utility and use moves like Thunder Wave, Will-O-Wisp, or even Dragon Tail. Calm Mind Arceus was incredibly dominant before the introduction of Ho-Oh, but now it's less common. Will-O-Wisp in particular is valuable because most Steel-type Pokemon tend to be physically attacking, like Necrozma Duskmane, and Ubers doesn't have many Poison-type Pokemon. The only Poison-type Pokemon Eternatus is part Dragon. 
That's one thing you'll notice about Ubers. Types are not evenly distributed like in standard play. Some types are overrepresented like Dragon, and some types literally don't exist. You could use a Pokemon from a lower tier, but then you're not using a restricted legendary anymore. It's a trade-off you'd have to make. Arceus Fairy is a textbook example of a Pokemon who takes advantage of the fundamentals of Pokemon, the fundamentals of Ubers, and the matchup into the actual metagame. Arceus Ground is just like Arceus Fairy. It hits the triple crown of viability. In fact, you could argue that Ground is the best type right now. Ground is always an incredible type because it's good both offensively and defensively. Offensively, you get Earthquake, which gives the ground form true offensive versatility. Then it easily pairs with a move like Stone Edge. The Edgequake combo is legendary because of its almost perfect coverage. Rock hits flying and bug type Pokemon, and grass type Pokemon don't exist in Ubers. Defensively, you always want a Pokemon immune to Volt Switch, and ground is pretty neutral overall. Specific to Generation 9, Ground is great because it can take on Maridon, one of the best Pokemon in the format. That alone makes a Ground type valuable. The Ground forms typically go Offensive with Dragon Dance or Swords Dance, or Calm Mind with Judgment, or they go really specially defensive to take on Maridon. The versatility really adds a lot of value because the physical and special variants have different checks. Ho-Oh can try and take on Calm Mind Arceus Ground, but it would lose to the physical Stone Edge. Giratina Origin with Levitate can switch into Dragon Dance Stone Edge, but not Calm Mind and Ice Beam. It really turns Arceus Ground into a tough Pokemon to break and to defend against. Arceus Water relies on Water being a good type. Coridon sets up the Sun and Maridon is an Electric type, but still, Water is good because it's neutral into every other Pokemon. Similar to Fairy, it can invest a lot into the defenses and take a lot of hits and spread Will-O-Wisp burn. It can take on Arceus Ground, Ho-Oh, Calyrex Ice, Necrozma Duskmane, Coridon's Flare Blitz, and comes out relatively fine. Water is also good offensively because it pairs with Ice Beam. Dragon types in theory match up well into Water, but they have to be careful about getting hit by an Ice Beam. Again, Grass types don't really exist. That means Arceus Water really only has one notable weakness to Maridon, but is generally good into every other Pokemon. Also, because Will-O-Wisp Arceus is so common, a lot of sweepers love to use Terra Fire to avoid the burn. Water Arceus takes advantage of that inherent nature of Ubers and hits them super effectively. Arceus Water is largely carried by its inherent typing of Water being generally good, but there are some Uber-specific quirks that make it even better. Calm Mind Sweeping and Defensive Utility Arceus offer great value for any team. Those are the big four, the best forms in the metagame, but there are more situational and niche forms too. Unfortunately, niche forms got slightly nerfed in Gen 9. Before, an Arceus type was hidden at Team Preview, so if you were using a non-standard Arceus, you could take advantage of Surprise Factor. That doesn't happen anymore, and you can see the Arceus type at Team Preview. It's a slight nerf, but it's worth mentioning. Arceus Ghost is interesting because it's a good defensive type, and there's nothing overtly bad about it. Look at top Pokemon. Ghost doesn't match up poorly into any of them. It hits a lot of types, and Ghost doesn't have a lot of weaknesses defensively. But it also doesn't resist a lot of types defensively either. Just like it doesn't match up badly into any of them, it also doesn't match up well into any of them. Giratina Origin is similar in nature, but a key difference is that Giratina is the only Ubers Pokemon that gets Defog. When you compare Arceus Ghost to a top tier Arceus form or Giratina, it's much harder to justify using. You'd mainly want to use it for hex strategies with moves like Thunder Wave or Will-O-Wisp and take advantage of Recover, which Giratina doesn't have. But Arceus Ghost doesn't have Shadow Force in Generation 9, which means it's physically offensive moves that struggle with Shadow Claw being the strongest move. In the past, Arceus Ghost could devastate a team with Shadow Force or Z Shadow Force. But in Gen 9, it doesn't have that. It's cool, but when there are so many good Pokemon, being cool doesn't cut it. That's a common theme you're going to see as you go down the tree. It's not enough to simply be not bad, you have to be actively good into the metagame around it. Similarly, Arceus Dark is situational and struggles with top Pokemon like Arceus Fairy, Coridon, and Zacian. The main reason you'd use it is because you want a stab boost on foul play. Arceus Dark becomes a situational physical wall that stops setup sweepers like Dragon Dance, Necrozma, Duskmane, or Calyrex Ice. Take a look at this team on your screen. It relies on the Gliscor Claudzire defensive core. Despite not being legendaries, these Pokemon can hold their own in the Ubers tier, with Claudzire being a good way to stop Maridon. 
Unfortunately, that makes a team weak to Necrozma Duskmane, who actually beats these Pokemon despite a type disadvantage. Necrozma can easily Dragon Dance and Morning Sun past them. Arceus Dark makes sense on this team as a way to shut down Necrozma with its foul play. This is the other genre of situational Pokemon. It does some things extremely well, but those things are either not valuable or the disadvantages are too much. Grass is generally a poor typing, being weak to almost everything, but it does have some key resistances to common types like water and ground. What it can do is try and take advantage of the meta. Miraidon dominates the meta and that leads to ground types being really popular. And what beats electric and ground? The grass type. It also gets bonus points for beating Kyogre. With a grass type judgment, ice beam to hit dragon types, or earth power to hit steel types, you could reasonably use Arceus grass. Is it good? Maybe not, but it's not terrible. It's niche. It's gotten even worse with the reintroduction of Ho-Oh. Arceus does get Stone Edge, but its move pool gets stretched too thin when you try to cover everything. Arceus Grass is the only uber tier legendary grass type Pokemon because Shaman Sky is not that good. So if your team for whatever reason needs a grass type Pokemon, you can use Arceus. Arceus Poison is even more niche. The main reason you want to use it is because you want a toxic immunity and a way to remove toxic spikes, and you don't want to use Eternatus for whatever reason. For example, maybe you want Will-O-Wisp, but Eternatus doesn't get that. Arceus Poison finds a niche because just like Ubers lacks grass type Pokemon, Ubers also lacks poison type Pokemon and you can fit a specific role with that Pokemon. Again, incredibly niche, but not terrible. But now let's talk about Pokemon that are just straight bad. Some of them are obvious. Arceus Bug is a bug type Pokemon. Arceus Dragon isn't inherently bad and it's actually been good in the past, but legendary Pokemon are mostly dragon types anyway. If you want a Dragon type on your team, you could pick literally any other Legendary. When the other Legendaries are Palkia and Dialga, you probably want Arceus Dragon to outspeed them. But when the other Legendaries are Coridon or Miraidon, you suffer from the opportunity cost of not being them. Arceus Steel is an interesting one because it used to be good and there's nothing really wrong with it. Steel is a good defensive type. The main allure of Arceus Steel is that it beats Dragon type Pokemon, like Latios back in the day. But in Gen 9, the two best Dragon-type Pokémon destroy it. Coridon is part fighting, and Miraidon's raw power breaks through anything that doesn't resist electric. Your whole job is beating Dragon, and you don't do that anymore. There is no reason to use Arceus Steel. Arceus fighting got used in Gen 5 and Gen 4 to take on Darkrai, Dialga, and E-Killer, but now two of those three Pokémon aren't relevant anymore. Also, you lose to the Fairy-type now, and fighting isn't generally good. Arceus Rock could be considered inherently bad because it's weak to common types like water and ground, but back in the day it did have some usage. It was used in the days of permanent Sand Tyranitar, and then later as a way to beat Mega Salamence atop Pokemon and E-Killer in one move slot. But without Mega Salamence or permanent Sand, it's tough to justify using a Rock type. Different forms have different strengths. The truth is that to an extent, bad and good depends on the fundamental of the type, but also a lot of it depends on the metagame around it. There is no magic formula. Types can fluctuate between good and bad simply based on what other legendaries are around it. Take a look at the world around you and pick the Arceus team that fits your team the best.